Hi, it's Realtor Mike Thomas uh, talking to you today about the current market conditions and giving you a market update. A lot of people out there are talking about uh, a real estate market crash. Uh, if the housing market is going to crash, people ask me those questions all the time. And um, I'm going to give you some sure ways of looking at the market and seeing whether a crash is coming or not. You can do this yourself. It's pretty easy to do. There's a lot of people out there that are not giving good information and I just wanted to let you know that I am a real estate agent. I am a realtor, have been since 1994. Uh, I've worked for the largest home builder in the United States as a top level executive. Um, I have credentials and I've been in the business. A lot of people are out there are giving real estate advice um, and market advice and their opinion on um, the real estate market and honestly, I just don't think that they have the qualifications to do that. Uh, it's kind of like listening to a friend of a friend of a friend instead of a doctor when it comes to medical advice. So um, here we go. I've got some great stuff for you. Stay tuned until the end. I'm going to give you some secrets that will just blow your mind. It's, it's incredible. So how do you know whether a real estate market is coming? Well, it's pretty easy. It comes about every 15 years, give or take three years. Uh, and the give or take three years is, depends on what the interest rate is doing. Now, if the interest rate is low, uh, it may take longer. If the interest rate is high, it may come faster. If they're doing something crazy like uh, adjustable rate mortgages, which what they call ARMS, uh, that you, in my opinion, you should stay away from arms. Uh, it makes it easy for you to buy a home, but unless you're planning on selling that home very, very quickly, um, I or refinancing it into a regular mortgage uh, sometime soon, I would just not do arms. They're very, very risky, and that's what caused the crash of 2008. Speaking of the crash of 2008, what happened? Well. In my opinion, it wasn't the banks that lost money. Uh, when you buy a house, they make you carry something called mortgage insurance premium, which is basically like gap insurance on a car. If you default on the loan, what will happen is they will file a claim with their insurance company and then the insurance company will pay them the difference. So the bank isn't really losing any money whatsoever. They're making you pay for insurance that if you default on your mortgage, they're going to make a claim with the insurance company. And that's really who took the hit in 2008 was the mortgage insurance companies, which were mostly owned by banks. <laughs> so as crazy as that sounds, how do you detect whether a market is a uh, crash is coming? whether the housing market is going to take a, a dive or not. A lot of people out there right now are talking about homes and condos and townhouses, which is not real estate. Okay, the textbook definition of real estate is a land. Okay, that's real estate. Now, if you add a road to the land, that's called an improvement. If you build a house on that land, that's called an improvement. Anything that you do to that land is going to improve the real estate that it sits on, which is the land, okay? So not to be confused, a house is an improvement on real estate land, period. So as a townhouse, so as a condominium, you can put a trailer on a piece of land, that may be considered an improvement. You may be able to build a road, put some lights out there, um, add utilities to it, all those things are called improvements to real estate. So let me just get that clear. So how do you know whether the real estate um, crash is coming? Well, it happens every 15 years. It has to be nationally on a national basis. It can't be just in one area or two areas because that's considered a hot market uh, or if uh, an area is actually um, not so hot, it's, it's called a cooling market. So it's either a hot market or a cold market. Not really that much in between. You're either selling real estate, there may be a demand for real estate uh, in a certain part of the country. Right now, Florida has a very high demand. But that doesn't mean that it's a market crash. 
It doesn't mean that the housing market is going to fall. And the best thing to do is do this. Follow the builders. I work for the largest home builder in the United States as a top level executive and our land and acquisition guys would always tell us what the real estate value is. How much are they paying for the land? Now if land prices are very high, that's an indication that the market is good. When the land prices fall dramatically quickly and builders start to buy up land rapidly, the next thing that's going to fall is the improvements on that land. You see where I'm going with this? The houses, the townhouses, and condominiums. So, always take a look at the builders. Are the builders selling homes? Are they selling a lot? Can sales keep up with the construction? Or is construction's way ahead of sales? So those are the type of things that you look at. Always look at everything, supply and demand. I just watched a video on YouTube and I thought, oh my God, this guy's talking about houses and the housing market. And it's not about the housing market. It is truly, truly, truly about the real estate that house sits on. That is what's most important when builders start buying up all types of land uh, for cheap, something's up. So keep an eye on that. The other thing that you may want to take a look at is interest rates. Are the interest rates stable? Do they have any crazy programs that may put you into a dangerous position? Um, how is inflation? People are always talking about inflation, inflation, inflation. Good or bad? Normal inflation is good in my mind, and I'll tell you why I have this opinion. If you bought a house and inflation goes up and pay goes up, you end up making more money. Example, um, most people are making a lot more money than they did 10 years ago, 20 years ago, than they do today. And they probably bought a piece of real estate 10, 20 years ago for a lot less money than they do today. So as inflation goes up and your income goes up, that real estate that you bought way back when is going to be uh, more and more affordable to you. So my opinion, buy real estate, keep real estate. It is a lot better than having a stock. A stock can go to zero. Real estate can never go to zero. Even if real estate goes to zero, you don't have to move. You don't have to pay any rent. You're not renting or anything like that. Renting, as everybody knows, you're throwing your money out, out the door, out the window, or wherever you would want to throw your money. Um, so it's important for you to know and understand that even owning real estate during a market crash, it doesn't matter unless you sell. So what if you have to move? People come to me and say, I have to move. I, where, I, I, need, to, I need to move. Where, where am I going? So I say, okay, well, why don't we do this? Let's rent the place that you have out because you're upside down in it and have somebody else pay for that home while you make your move to somewhere else. Maybe you're putting a minimum payment down and buying something there. That's a good idea. For most people, that has seemed to work quite a bit. So I'm going to be making some uh, other videos on how to actually make a lot of money in real estate. Uh, make, make over a million dollars in real estate if you want. I'm going to, uh, going to make a video on how to actually get a free house, which is probably my next video or maybe the one after that. I'm not too sure right now. But stay with us. Subscribe. Leave a comment. Uh, tell us what you think. Give us the like button. And um, please share it on your social media networks with your friends.